Welcome to another show of Business Africa. On our show today, we'll be discussing the tourism sector. On, uh, our guest today is Teddy Anwar Salon, who is the assistant uh, treasurer of the Association of Tourism Professional. Uh, this session today, we'll be discussing the ups and downs of a sector that's going through a, a difficult time since the crisis. Uh, Teddy, welcome to our show. Thank you. Teddy, tell us, what do you do as an assistant treasurer at the association? Well, actually, I've got various caps, and uh, one of the caps that I've got is as the assistant treasurer of the association. And I'm also the managing director of Morijet and the director of Just Travel Consultants. But all of these are one way or the other linked to the tourism industry. So you've got different camps. And tell me more about yourself, Teddy. Well, I've been in the tourism industry, uh, we can say for more than, near, well, I mean nearly 25 years now. Um, for 15 years as um, commercial um, in the hotel industry and uh, past 10 years as a tour operator and uh, travel agent. Can you tell us more about this, the tourism sec sector in Mauritius in terms of its target, in some of its segment and maybe in terms of history on the island? Sure, I mean uh, when for example I started years back uh, uh, we were mainly uh, Euro-centered. I mean, most of our clients were coming from Europe and mainly France. I mean, though they, they're still uh, one of our main market, but obviously uh, so many uh, other markets are, are coming up. And we all talk about the emerging markets, uh, obviously the, the Asian markets. Uh, but uh, one thing I'd like to point out uh, rega regarding these markets, for, for example, uh, the Indian market, uh, Many members of the uh, ATP, uh, Association of Tourism Professionals, were already active on, on, on the Indian market. And uh, while well for China, it's true that's a very new market, and uh, we can see the efforts uh, from the authorities regarding the uh, airline connections and all that. So obviously, I, I believe the results will be coming soon uh, with, with, a, with a rise in, um, in from, from this sector. Yeah. And if you look at the, the sector itself, we know uh, sec this sector has a lot of strength uh, in terms of its uh, quality of service. Can you tell us what are the other, other strengths that you see has made this sector an important pillar of the economy? One of the strengths, I, I believe, is the, um, la gentillesse mauricienne, the, the, the politeness. The, 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 it's very the, unique the, in the world. Uh, the, the sense of service, you know. Um, again, I'm talking uh, of, of, the, of the hotel industry. I mean the, the, the level of service, uh, the, the, the politeness, the kindness that, that you can find uh, from some of our staff. It's, as you said, you, you won't find it uh, in very much other places in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you look at the, obviously we're trying to get this sector to a different dimension in terms of its uh, diversification of the market. Earlier you talked about the Indian market. And now we also heard that the government wants to get more Chinese tourists to come here. Um, so what, what do you see the, the new challenges in terms of getting this, uh, penetrating this new, new market? Well obviously each, each market has got their own specificities. I mean uh, when we first had the Indians uh, one of the major issues was uh, the food issue. I mean uh, that was uh, the first battle <laughs> those on that market had to, to fight here to get the hotels to, to get Indian food and, and today you can find in many hotels there's always a, a corner, an, an Indian food corner, an Indian buffet. Even a uh, restaurant. <laughs> uh, I mean, more and more restaurants. Yeah. And, uh, but I think it would be the same for, for the Chinese market. Probably it will take some time, but I know some hotels are already uh, working on it. They already have the, the specific food that, that the Chinese uh, look for, for. I mean, for example, the, what they have for breakfast is completely different from yeah. what the, the, the usual clients have. I mean, but also we mustn't forget the competition. I mean, we are trying to track, tap in the same market in terms of the Chinese, the Arabs, the, the traditional market itself. But competition is here. So we've seen Seychelles, we've seen the likes of Maldives, even Maputo coming up with different products and coming up as, as the, you know, something which is different to us. How then should we uh, as a sector uh, change or improve our competitive edge uh, to make us in a way position to attract these tourists? I think there's indeed uh, some, uh, some thinking to be done on this subject. Uh, and, and again, it, it concerns um, all, the, all the various stakeholders. Um, 
it's the, the whole product most probably that has to be to be revamped because um, I mean we've, we've been selling Mauritius uh, for years now more or less on, in, a, in the same way um, so I, I think it's about time we, we look for some, some, some new new angles new strategies so with regard to the, to the product as I was saying we, we definitely have to to, to give it a, a rethink and uh, we also believe that uh, we, we can uh, use uh, know-how that, that we have uh, in the region and, and, and put all this together and, and come up with something new um, with regards to the whole region. But also we've seen, um, you earlier mentioned about the quality of our staff, uh, the politeness, but more and more we've seen them being exported. They're going on cruise ship, they're going on working in Dubai, they're working in Seychelles. That's, is, that's very true. Is that's that a very true. Would that be a problem for us to uh, maintain that standard? I think it, it, it will. Uh, and already, we, uh, I think to be honest, we, we, we do see some poaching of stuff going on uh, uh, whenever we have a new hotel coming, coming up. And uh, the other thing is that um, the mindset of, 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 of the workers now is not, not the same as it used to be. Um, but I, I believe with some training, it will, 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 will get there. But with regards to the, the number of hotels being open, uh, I think we definitely need we will definitely need uh, more manpower and more training. Yeah. One angle I was going to discuss with you is the aspect of mice, so business traveling, and and mice on the island. Do you see a, a potential in this uh, there, area? There, there is, there is. Uh, but again, uh, I think there's a whole strategy with regards to the marketing um, because. Quite a lot of hotels are, are, are well equipped, are very well equipped. Um, uh, I mean, we've been handling. I mean, when we I say we, I mean Mauritius has been handling quite a lot of, of conferences, high-level conferences, and uh, uh, not only in the Vivekananda um, Center, but I mean in the hotels themselves. Uh, we have uh, very high-level conferences going on, so it means that there's a market for that. Uh, but there's a whole strategy behind it that we have to, to put up and to get these people to come to us. I mean, especially the big companies. Absolutely. I believe they still have the budget to, to come <laughs> to us. <laughs> Why not come to our beautiful island? Um, Teddy, uh, you also earlier mentioned you have different caps. Yeah. So one of the caps is the GES consultant. Yeah. Tell us briefly about what GES. So, so actually GES is um, um, a registered YATA travel agency. So we do quite a lot of outbound um, to the region and as well as to Europe and the other cap is uh, I'm the MD of Morijet which is the inbound branch yep. of the our sister company where we handle the, all the incoming clients mm -hmm. uh, we've been very active on the on the region uh, lots of our clients from Reunion Island uh, uh, Mayotte also which is a French uh, department uh, South Africa that concerns the, the region and obviously the traditional markets. Uh, yeah. Teddy, uh, we've discussed the strength and weakness of this sector and we know with the right strategy we should have a bright future. It was a pleasure having you on the show and thank you. Pleasure, thank you.